Now more of the WVU Coaches Show. Brought to you by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official restoration company of the Mountaineers. Typically here on the WVU Coaches Show, you're joining us from the theater room at Monongalia County Ballpark. But today we've moved to the Players' Lounge and we are joined by the shortstop for West Virginia University, Jimmy Galuski. Jimmy, thanks for being with us. You got it. Glad to be here. You know, we can see obviously right now we're in the Players' Lounge and we've got a ping pong table. Yeah. This is a little bit different from what we would typically be doing here. We're going to talk a little bit about this season and play a little ping pong. How good are you at table tennis very mediocre so very try, mediocre try take it easy on me yeah. <laughs> i i don't know if i can take it easy but that's just because it's been a long time since i've done this uh let's let's hit it around for a little bit take me back to wednesday night and being at pnc park when you got an opportunity to go out there you know being a preston county native i'm sure that you're familiar with the pittsburgh pirates and with pnc park that chance to go and play on an mlb field what was that like for you I mean, sweet. I mean, it's not a big deal for, I mean, a lot of kids that get to do it around the country because you see kids in Texas get to play in kind of ballparks when they're in high school. And West Virginia, that's not really a thing. So come out of high school, you get to play there. It's a big deal for us. All right. Well, this is a big deal for me. I am playing a sport right now against a Division One college athlete. So we're going to get started <laughs> now. Uh, we can do a rally for serve or just, you, you want to serve first? No, you go ahead. Go I got ahead. it. Okay. Yeah, you got See, it. he's trying to give me an <laughs> advantage, which is unfortunate because I won't take advantage of it. I'm sure. All right, let's go. We're playing a 21. Yep. Here we go. Try. Oh, well, nothing. First point to me. I feel pretty good about this. All right. Ooh. Edge guy. <laughs> Edge guy. <laughs> Is anybody keeping score on this? Oh. I'm just glad I scored. I didn't get skunked. Uh, oh. I think you'll do a little bit better than getting skunked. I don't know. <laughs> you play guys like Darius. It's hard to get a point. Oh. Darius Hill? <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. Would you say that Darius is the best at ping pong? I think so. Coach Mays is really good, too. So. Oh, Those so you're guys. saying in a yeah. future episode we got to get the head yeah, coach out. Yeah, that'd be big. He's pretty right. good. Three to one here, so this is my last serve. Yeah. All right, three, two. So we'll take a break here because we're about to switch service here. But I want to take you back last year. You're on the field there against TCU. You guys go down big early in the Big 12 Baseball Championship. Then you tie it up. You take the lead, ultimately lose. Uh, and you don't hear your name called in that field of 64. That was a tough time for you guys. But how did you see you, your teammates, your head coach all sort of rally together and use that as motivation heading into this year? Well, that's been talked about a lot throughout the whole year, kind of a chip on your shoulder. I mean, Coach Mays always talks about it. I mean, we didn't get to the field of 64 last year, and this year we kind of kind of have a little motivation, I guess, as you'd say, after last year. And I think it's helped us a lot going through the year. We've won some big games, TCU at home this year, so I think it's helped us. Here we are a year later. I can't really believe that we're already at the point that we're talking about the last regular season series that's going to be at home coming up uh, this weekend, Gardner-Webb, then you go on the road to Texas and then suddenly you're back in Oklahoma City with that same opportunity again. Uh, how do you feel like you guys have answered that call from a year ago to say, okay, we're that motivated, and now here we are right on that on that brink of getting ourselves into the tournament? It always seems like we're on that brink for some reason, always going down to put it in somebody else's hands. But I think we've done a pretty good job this year and not putting it in somebody else's hands. You know, I mean, if we can win down the stretch, win Gardner-Webb series, I think it could give us a little edge going into the rest of the season. And, you know, the opportunities that you've had this year when you play a TCU, when you play a Texas Tech top five teams, uh, and, and you've performed well. You know, you didn't always get the results that you wanted, but you won the series against TCU. You came very close against Texas Tech. You feel like that's going to prepare you for that tournament play and then ultimately what could lie ahead if you are in that field of 64? Definitely, definitely. I mean, those big games we play, I mean, Texas Tech, I mean, I think all, all games were a one-run game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. They were all close, so I think that helps us down the stretch. And all those road games start the season, I think, help us when we go to Oklahoma City. So those road games will kind of carry us through, we hope. All right, well, you're currently losing to me in ping pong, so it's your <laughs> serve. Let's see if you can be motivated the way that you are in this baseball season. <laughs>
you know, as we mentioned earlier, you being from Arthurdale, a Preston County guy, when you put on that jersey, when you go out there and you represent a program that, you know, has been just down the road from you your entire life, what does it mean to you and to these other guys on the team that are actually from West Virginia to put on that golden blue? I mean, it's always been a really big deal to me. I mean, I always take a lot of pride in putting the Mountaineers on my chest. I mean, I've watched it my whole life, got to be a bad boy and everything. So, I mean, it's, putting it on now is a big deal to me, and I think it means a lot to these guys putting it on, too. So you were a, a young Weston Maisie at one point? Kind of. I guess okay. you could say that, yeah. All right, so you can see it full circle and, and, and see it now from a very different yeah, vantage point. Very different, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We are at 17 to 13 right now. So... These these next few points, this could this could go a long way oh, in yeah. determining how this one ends. <laughs> I need to play a little better. All right, let's go, Jim. Yeah. Twenty to fourteen. Yeah. He's getting locked in. Oh, game, game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, here's the thing. I'm glad that we got to play on the ping pong table and not go to the batting cage yeah, or anything yeah, right. like that. There are any number of other sports that you would have whooped me at, but this is one that I've taken pride in that I've actually been good at throughout my life. You're a heck of a baseball player, though. You guys got a heck of a season going this year. Good luck with everything else Thank the rest you. of the regular season into the postseason. Thank you. Appreciate All right, it. this is Jimmy Galuski joining us right here, a Preston County native, and the only time that he will ever fall to me in anything <laughs> athletic in his entire life, joining us right here on the WVU Coaches Show. Thanks for letting me win. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> we will return to the 